Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to review OSPF LSA type 3, which is summary link. So let's get started. Type 3 LSAs represent networks from other areas. The main goal of the area border router is to participate in multiple OSPF areas and to make sure that networks associated with type 1 LSAs are reachable in non-originating OSPF areas. Type 1 and Type 2 LSAs are not forwarded by ABRs into other OSPF areas. For each received Type 1 LSA, ABR creates a Type 3 LSA referencing the network in the original Type 1 LSA. The ABR then advertises a Type 3 LSA into other areas. Upon receiving Type 3 LSA from the backbone area, Area 0, ABR generates new Type 3 LSA for the non-backbone area and lists itself at the advertising router with the additional cost metric. Type 2 LSAs are only used to determine the network mask of the multi-access network. Let's review this example. For example, we have um, our network with area 1, 2, 3, 4, area 0 and area 56. These two routers are ABR routers and let's, see, uh, let's say that area 1, 2, 3, 4 generates type 1 LSA. R4 receives type 1 LSA, creates um, LSA type 3 and forwards to R5. When R5 receives type 3 LSA, it creates type 3 LSA, lists itself at the originating router, add metric cost for this network to metric cost for, for original type 1 LSA and forwards it to R6. For area 0, uh, router R4 and R5 forwards creates uh, type 3 LSAs on the base of type 1 LSAs and forward, forwards them to area 56 and area 1, 2, 3, 4. And for area 56, the same like for area 1, 2, 3, 4. R6 creates type 1 LSA forwarded to R5. R5 receive, receives type, 3, uh, type 1 LSA, creates type 3 LSA and forwards it to R4. R4 receives type 3 LSA from R5, creates type 3 LSA, lists itself as the originating router, adds to this metric, metric for area 0 to this LSA and forwards type 3 LSA into area 1, 2, 3, 4. To see briefly OSPF type 3 LSA, use the following command show IP OSPF database and check under the, out, uh, the output under summary link uh, netlink states. Here we have uh, area 1234, a link ID for uh, networks which are outside of the uh, area 1234, area 0, and area 56, advertising router age, sequence number, and checksum. And if you want to check more detailed information about OSPF type 3 LSA, you can use the following command, show IP OSPF database summary. And if you want to restrict output of this command, you can add prefix at the end of the command. Uh, here we can see some example of the output of this command, show IP OSPF database summary. Uh, this uh, summary link states for area 1, 2, 3, 4. We can see um, prefix, which is advertised 10, 45, 0, advertised in router R4 with router ID 4444, network mask, and metric. So how OSPF type 3 LSA metric gets created? I already mentioned in the previous slide, but I would like to give more details. If ABR creates LSA type 3 from LSA type 1, then the total pass metric to reach the originating router is the type LSA type 1 metric. For example, R6 creates LSA type 1 for area 56 with metric 1. R5 on the base of this type 1 creates LSA type 3 and the met total pass metric for this LSA type 3 is going to be metric 1 from type 1, LSA type 1, original. 
if ABR creates LSA type 3 from LSA type 3 from OSPF area 0, then the total pass metric to reach the originating router is the total pass metric to the ABR plus the metric in the original LSA type 3. Let's say again, R6 creates LSA type 1 with metric R uh, with metric 1, R5 creates LSA type 3 from LSA type 1 with metric 1, sends to area 0, R4 receives this LSA type 3 and creates again LSA type 3 and lists itself as originating router, but metric for this uh, total pass is going to be metric one from LSA type three from R5 plus plus metric one from area zero. ABR advertises only one LSA type three with the best metrics for a prefix. For example, if we have multiple paths to reach the originating router, then ABR will advertise only the LSA type three, which has the best metric. Let's review some example. Here we have the same network as on the slides, R4 and R5 are ABRs. Here we have area 0, area 56, and area 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see what we have on R4 IP OSPF database. As we can see, we have summary netlink states for area 0. 24 is advertised by this is LSA type 3 advertised by router R4 into area 0, 56 is advertised by router I5 into area 0, and uh, network um, 123 1, advertised by router R4 into area 0. Let's see what we have more. And summary net link states for area 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we can see that li link IDs or our prefixes 10450 and 10560, which are advertised as LSA type 3 into area 1, 2, 3, 4 by router 4. Uh, uh, here we can say that this LSA type 3 was generated by R5 and then uh, router R4 creates LSA type 3, lists itself as router, originating router, and also increased a metric. Show IP OSPF database summary. What we have here. Let's see, for area 0, let's, for example, we have a link state, this uh, prefix 10.24.0, this uh, uh, network connected to R4, advertising router R4, it advertises this LSA type 3 into area 0 network and metric for this net network. And uh, let's say for example this one, um, 1, 2, 3, 4. This network it advertised also LSA type 3 created by uh, router R4 with network mask 24, but metric increased by 2 because to reach this network 1, 2, 3, 4 from R4, we need to add metric of this network itself, which is 1, and metric on, on this network uh, of this network, which is also 1. We receive metric 2. This is everything I wanted to show you about LSA type 3. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on and show your support by hitting like button. I hope to see you soon in my next videos. But for now, just goodbye and see you soon.